Hey everyone, how are you doing? You Mike here, and today we're taking a look at the Park Backworks ZE510. Uh, so that's what we have here. This here is a six bar, three channel. Uh, you can control each channel individually. Uh, there's veg, balloon, as well as the UV. So before I get any further, this slide was sent over from Park Backworks for us to review it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do here in this video. We're going to do some testing. We're going to test uh, how much water is pulling from the wall. We're going to do some power testing, um, and uh, we're going to do some heat testing as well. So let's get into some of the details of the light. So this here, like I said, is a three-channel light. It has a 240-watt veg, channel one. Uh, channel two is a 250-watt uh, for the blue. And it also has a 20-watt UV, uh, which is pretty cool as well. So to build the spectrum that you see here, they're using the 3000K the 5000K, the 740 nanometer IR, the 660 nanometer deep red, and the 395 uh, nanometer UVs. Uh, so for drivers, it's using SOSAN. Uh, all across the board, I think there's three drivers inside the casing. So for dimensions of the light, it's 33 by 33. Um, that's going from the back of the unit all the way up to the end of the knobs, um, from left all the way to right, uh, from the side of the bar. Uh, so it's just a little bit under three feet. So the manufacturers uh, suggest that you can grow a 5x5 bench five and a 4.5x4.5 uh, flowering area. So we're going to do some part testing and we'll, we'll take a look and, and we'll uh, give you our evaluation at the end. So this light here does have the RG11 ports which allows you to connect up to 100 lights uh, right off of this light directly, or you can also use the RJ11 controller, uh, which you see here behind me. So the controller does have a couple of presets, uh, sunny, cloudy, and sunset. Um, and you can individually set each one of those settings. Uh, one of the features that I really like is the cloudy feature. So if I'm walking in my room and I want to, before I even open my tent, I can hit the cloudy button, it's going to dim my lights for me. Um, and then I'm not, it's just not so hard on your eyes when you come in here and you're looking at your plants and so forth. So that's a cool feature. It also has features where you can set multiple timers and uh, it's just a really handy all around useful tool. Now you can have two gardens here with two channels, 50 lights on each side. So that means you can have one whole garden um, flowering and you can have one whole garden vegging, running 50 lights on each system. Uh, so that's, uh, that's pretty cool. So this light does come with a five-year warranty, um, as well as it is compliant with North American um, and uh, European uh, safety standards. So now what we're gonna do is get into some of the testing. Uh, so we're gonna check out how much energy we're pulling from the wall, how hot the light's uh, running in uh, unideal conditions, and uh, we're going to uh, make some par maps. So let's get started. Alright guys, so the testing is now over. 
Um, let's get into some of the information that we found out from the testing. Um, so it was pulling 515 watts. Um, now what it was doing was pulling about 514 watts to 516. Um, it even hit 517 uh, for one second, but then went right back down to 515. Um, so we just went in the middle there, 515. Uh, we tested over a minute and after the light was already on for about seven hours. Because um, it, it really does make a difference if your light's been running for a while um, or if you just plug it in and make a reading. So uh, the next thing that we tested was the PAR maps. Uh, and I do have a PAR map here in front of me, as you guys can see as well. It's mistaken at 22 inches. Um, and uh, in a 4x4 four four foot area reflective. Uh, so you can see here up in the center, it was, it was about 1,015, 1,018, 1,008. Um, and then we take a look at the corners of 508, 503, 507, 523. Um, so that's a good indication right there. That's probably about the max you'd want to push this. So um, manufacturer's recommendation of 4.5 by 4.5. I'd probably stick with the 4 um, with this light here in flower. Uh, for Vegging, I definitely get away with a 5x5. Five five. So, taking a look at our 22 inch, this here is our optimal hang height. Um, we take the 515 watts, uh, we do a little bit of math here, and we come out to 2.1 uh, micromoles to watt. So, not that bad of a light at all here, guys. Um, so, taking a look at the next car map, this here is extremely even. Now, this here was taken at 30 inches. This is um, Car Backworks recommended uh, veg, um, where, recommended where you should uh, grow a veg. Um, they have it at power at 50-50. And uh, you can see, like, this is a very even, right from the center, 477, 470, uh, even to the outer edge, which is 347. Uh, you're just to say 100, just a little bit over 100 car difference. So that's a very decent hang height for an even uh, spacing with this light. So for temperatures, uh, so let's talk about the temperatures for a bit. Uh, it was bouncing around there, 49 degrees, uh, 49.8 on the top of the bar and uh, 59.7 on the bottom of the bar. So I did actually notice that there kind of was a hot spot uh, on the bar when I was doing this testing and the hot spot seemed to be where the UVs were. Uh, so uh, the UVs are definitely going to push push out a little bit more heat. Um, if you turn off the UV or if you're not using it, the light's probably not going to run that hot. And uh, this testing was also done in you know on ideal conditions, which normally is what we do with the uh, with the heat testing. So they should run a little bit better if you got them in a you know in a tent or um, uh, you know with fans blowing and stuff in your tent. It should it should run down a little bit more. So it's actually not that bad. Um, it's still a little warm, but that's definitely with those UVs. If you're not running the UVs, it won't be as hot. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I think I've covered everything I wanted to here in the video. Um, if you all have any more questions, feel free to throw them down in the comments. Um, if you are interested in different heights, um, in different settings where we're going to throw that in real world situation, we will have more videos in the future uh, with this light here. And, uh, yeah, if you guys are interested in looking for one of these lights, go check out the Park Backworks website. Uh, we'll also put some links here down below in the description. So, thank you all for watching. You all have yourself a great day. Peace.